and welcome to Pi. This is going to be one of my first attempts at a more normal video, and we'll see how it goes. I haven't built a computer in a long time, and I figured I might as well give it a shot. So, some information here. I was given quite a few computer components from my cousin, uh, Intel motherboard and various other, uh, various other components. Some I'm going to use, some I'm not. The main goal of this build is to just get back to building computers. I haven't built a computer in 10, 15 years, something along those lines. Well, closer, not about 10 years. Uh, I used to build them all the time, repair them, upgrade them, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Who thought I'd do it all out of high school, right? And uh, money became an issue, and I couldn't keep up, and I stopped the hobby. So I'm getting back to it. I'm going to make a YouTube video about it, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so the motherboard I'm going with, uh, given to me, like I said, by my cousin. Uh, it's an Intel product. I'm more of a fan of AMD myself, but this whole build was based off of items I was given for free. You know, free is always good. <laughs> Until you rack up the bill trying to buy all the components needed to complete a free build. Um, anyway, so ASRock Z390 Tachi Ultimate. Don't really know if I said all that correctly. Uh, uh, interesting little story here. So, my cousin had bought this board and bought a i7-6700, I believe. And turns out it doesn't work on this board. So, this board needs a newer processor. Uh, of course, you probably find out it's already out of date. I know they already have the you know, 10th gen and 11th and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I was like, well, I kind of want to future-proof as much as I can. So I figured, well, I'll buy a 9.9. Well, which one do I get? I ended up going with the i9. Uh, 9900K. Um, the board has onboard graphics. Obviously, you need a processor that supports onboard graphics. Unlocked, in case I ever want to get into overclocking. I'll be honest, even though I used to build computers, I never got into overclocking. Water cooling and all that. I'm not a big fan of <laughs> water cooling, but when I was building them, water cooling hadn't quite gotten to where it is today. You had to be very careful of leaks and, well, I mean, you have to be careful of leaks, but systems weren't as, as great. But if I want to, I'll go down that route. Uh, so anyway, I figured future-proof it as much as I can. Uh, these parts have been, the parts I bought have been bought over the last, then what, year almost or something like that. Huh, buying it little by little, money and all that. Most of this video is going to be very impromptu, not a whole lot of editing, because to be honest, I don't really know how to edit all that well yet. And uh, the angles aren't, aren't probably that great, the lighting's not going to be that great, and some views are going to be blocked, but it's an attempt. So let's go over some of the parts I have, and we'll continue on. Alright, for power supply, I have the Cooler Master, uh, what model is this? MWE, I guess. Uh, 850 watt, gold standard, a little mo modular. I kind of like the modular look and not having to deal with the old school, as uh, a few channels have called it, ketchup and mustard cabling. And, uh, probably way more than what I need. And 
it is what it is, and like I said, future proofing where we can, and eventual upgrades when we need to. Not just, oh, hey, let's build the most ultimate computer, and then realize that I didn't need all that. So, some stuff's a little overkill, some stuff's probably very basic. The case I've gone for is a Thermaltech V100, I believe is what it was called. Uh, I'm not one of those that likes the glass panel or acrylic panel or see-through on the side. I'm very much the kind of person that likes the computer just kind of sit in the corner and not really be noticeable. I also never understood why we all went away from optical drives. Uh, I understand a lot more stuff is streamed and downloaded and flash drives and all that, which I guess kind of just answered my own question there. But, you know, kind of like what I like. And that's what this whole build is about. So, Thermal Tank V100, two five and a quarter drives. Uh, Ventilation up on top, as well as on the bottom, <laughs> and obviously, nice big ventilation on the side. Uh, I mean, anyone who knows anything about me, kind of basic in construction, but I don't like, I don't like RGB and everything lighting up, but kind of like it being a bit more basic. Um, like to first build after a while getting back to it and we'll see how it goes alright so the cooler I purchased the Noctua NH U12S chroma black fits a little better than the tan and brown they typically go for uh, so it's all black, pretty nice. Again, nothing here has been tested. I may go to build this computer and realize the motherboard shot. And if that's the case, well, I'll still post the video and it'll all be a learning experience. So I tried to go for the, basically the largest cooler I could get that would fit in the case and work with the processor and all that. Again, air cooling, uh, not a, not up to water cooling standards yet. And uh, my cousin did give me an AIO system. A well, little used Corsair one. And there's some Corsair fans to go along with it. Uh, but as I'm not entirely comfortable with it yet, again, watch the video about how to check it for air bubbles. Oh yeah, you can definitely hear it. Try to quiet the bracketry down here real quick. I don't know if that was audible or not. But, uh, I'm one of those if I ever go for water cooling. I'd rather have every component separate and run it the way I'd want to and how it, I want it to look. So, I'm not going to be using this. Um... Uh, I may sell it, may give it away. I don't know. We'll see. May keep it and use it for a future project for experimentation. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, let's see. More stuff that my cousin had given me was some uh, Corsair fans, a 140 or 120. This one's obviously. RGB and whatnot, and again, not a big fan of RGB, but in a pinch, emergency fans are always a good idea. Uh, included with, again, the free components was EVGA, what was it, say, let's see, Super Clock DDR4, uh, let's read some of the specifications here. Uh, it's a total of 16 gigs, 2 sticks of 8, 2400, 
uh, megahertz, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm also a proponent of always max out the memory in, on your motherboard. Is it overkill? Yes. But as a great saying that I like to go by, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I'll probably be upgrading this and maxing out the motherboard of it. Uh, I'll probably be maxing out the memory on the motherboard at some other point. Let's see. Of course there's cables and odds and ends. The VTA cable, the power cable, the mouse. I get all three components. Very basic HP keyboard. Uh, again, I used to have all kinds of cases and components and power supplies and you know I'd find computers on the side of the road and all that or garage sales, resale shops. I'd build them and sell them off. Usually not making any money actually, and uh, just because I like doing it. But then I got rid of everything because I was like, well, if I can't keep up with it, what's the point? And I got rid of everything. And uh, now I'm having to start over. So, tip to those that get into any sort of hobby. Just because you're not using it right now doesn't mean throw it away. There will always come a time where you will need something. Of course, I guess that's also a hoarder mentality. So, if you have a history of that, um, be careful with that. I have to, so if it was up to me, my entire place would be filled with computers and aquariums and all kinds of other stuff I like. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, let's keep going through what we've got. Case fans. Oh, well, I didn't grab all of them. Where'd the rest of them go? Yeah. Ah, there it is. So it's been a while since I bought the case, and I don't really remember exactly how many fans it says it holds. If I remember correctly, it's six. There's one installed already in there, and well, I fans are one of those things that, yeah, I could have gone for Noctua, but they were expensive, as they usually are. And I'd already, actually, I bought the fans before I bought the cooler, if I remember correctly. And uh, most stuff was bought on Newegg or Amazon or Walmart, you know, typical go-to trying to find who has the best deals that isn't going to rip you off and, you know, send you used junk. So... I bought a uh, Rockwell 120mm case fan, in black of course, go along with the non-RGB theme. Uh, let's see, what's the, uh, supposedly goes up to 2000 RPM, 74 CFM, uh, excuse me, 74.48 CFM. Uh, they're probably going to be loud as hell and all that, but again, I'm only going air cooling, and the more air you can pump into a machine and pump out of a machine, the cooler it's going to be. Most of my fans are going to be set up to be primarily exhaust fans, obviously, on the uh, the top. The side is going to be an intake, um, and obviously the ones in front are going to be an intake. Uh, you can see a some venting here. I have a feeling that's going to be <laughs> very restrictive. Uh, again, I don't really know all the specs on it. I kind of just liked the look of it and knew it would fit and bought it. Uh, you know, or, or worry about function afterwards. Um, I may put the, that on the side here. I may do that as an intake fan as well, forcing over the motherboard. And then 
again, exhausting out. Uh, different options, we'll figure out when we get there. Alright. So, one of the, uh, like I said, one of the components that was free, that <laughs> led to this whole build, Intel i7 6700K. Uh, but again, doesn't work with the motherboard he had, and so now I've got a older processor for a second build. Again, Intel. So... Again, it may be given away, sold, whatever. I don't know. I'll figure something to do with it. May use it as an excuse to you know, build another computer. But that's not what we're using today. Just letting you know different things I got. All right, another item I got for this build. Again, Rockwell. I know they're not known for their best of quality of things, but they're cheap, they're functional. And if I have a problem with it, well, live and learn, get what you pay for, right? So, again, another reason I wanted the five and a quarter ports up front, or not ports, but spaces up front, was I've got a dash cam in my car, and while I can do most things on my phone, I need to be able to bring the data in. And another reason for building this computer is, well, I need the software on it for dash cam and monitoring and, and all of that. Uh, at least that's what I tell myself, right? So, this is mainly just card reader and extra USB ports and all of that. Very basic, nothing nothing too spectacular. Probably really didn't need it. But, again, better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. I know a lot of what I'm saying here is a little bit redundant. Most people that are going to watch this video are probably clicked off by now to be honest and uh well if they do they do but that's the price you pay right so i know a lot of what i'm talking is a bit more i know monotone and no feelings and all that but i'm very anyone who knows me knows i'm very much usually a very talkative and very energetic goofy person but i'm not sure how much of that I'm ready to put out on YouTube yet. Uh, I'm trying to keep it a, a bit more professional. Like I said, most of it's going to be just a little bit of editing, a little bit of hope and a prayer and a wish and a, you know, hit the upload button, right? Alright, let's get on. That's enough jabbing about all that. Let's get on to the other components. Yeah, yeah, I know. Optical drive and SD card slots. Yeah, old school, right? Well, when I originally set this list, I was going to get uh, my operating system on a disk. That's why I've always done it. And I figured that'd be the way I'd do it, right? Well, as it turns out, um, when I bought this, I hadn't bought my my operating systems yeah so this is a dvd rom drive kind of honestly wish i had gone with the blu-ray drive so i could possibly use it for watching movies i mean it's technically still can just not blu-ray but uh, that's not the main focus of this machine and this was cheap uh and it's a uh... ah oh, asus this basic, cheap DVD-ROM drive. Nothing spectacular, nothing to write home about, right? All right, another component I bought. Hard drive. Yes, it's a disk hard drive. Yes, I know. Oh, why didn't you go for an SSD? Because they're expensive and I'm, well, I'm kind of broke, especially after all this. Uh, anyway, basic, nothing too shabby, but, uh, two terabyte Seagate, honestly, it's, 
since the last time I built computers, I I, I was building computers when you know, if you had a 500 gigabyte hard drive, you were doing really good. 100 gigabyte was pretty much the standard. So uh, two terabyte, pretty good in my book. Uh, again, probably pretty basic for most people. But again, I'm building it how I want to build it with what I can, how I can. And you don't like the components, that's fine. Choose what you like, build what you want. Uh, that's the, one of the best things about computers is you just make it your own. And upgrade it when you don't like it anymore. Alright, another free component here. Uh, honestly, I didn't realize this was in the box. Uh, the GTX 460 PNY. <laughs> one gig of memory. It ain't, ain't going to do much. Uh, so when I bought the processor, I bought it to make sure it could handle the onboard graphics and or that it had onboard graphics, so the onboard graphics would work with the motherboard. But to be honest, I didn't realize I had this one. Uh, we'll see if, if I end up using it. It's it, it's a little cruddy and, and all that, and I don't really remember much about it. Don't remember that I had it at all, so that'll be set to the side for now. Again, maybe a future project. No, I haven't even opened this box yet. Uh, Wi-Fi antennas for the motherboard because the Wi-Fi antenna that it came with uh, went missing before I got it. So just went on Amazon, found a set of Wi-Fi antennas. We'll see how they work, but they'll be used here for building, and then eventually it'll be uh, set up with a actual Ethernet cable. So don't have to worry too much about that. But again. Is what it is. Oh, so, also got display port cable. Not display port. Uh, I forget what the terminology is. Like I said, it's been a long time. I haven't stayed in with everything. Obviously, very, very old cable. Uh, newer than VGA, but older than HDMI. And on top of that, nah, I got some HDMI cables. Again, just bought off of Amazon. Got one for the computer. One for my PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, still have PlayStation 4 Pro. and I'm not going to go and go to PS5. Primarily because I hate that they changed the controller to be more like Xbox. Yes, I'm a PS4, I'm a PlayStation fan, not an Xbox fan. Um, no, I will say uh, Xbox is, has a slight positive note in my opinion because they have Forza and uh, Need for Speed and Gran Turismo. Uh, they kind of went down the rabbit hole of messing up entire gameplay long for the days of the old Gran Turismo that you had to start off in a minivan. Yes, I'm talking PlayStation 1 here. Uh, you had to start off in a minivan around the racetrack and earn money and repair your vehicle. Build up from there. Those were good. Uh, I think modern ones are they're more oh, you gotta complete the storyline. Nah, I'm not a fan of that. Same thing with GTA. Yeah, I played GTA 5 mainly online, but it's, a. Uh, I like the open world concepts, but that's kind of beside the point. We'll, we'll see if I leave that in here or not. Um, anyway, let's get on to the next component. Alright, so, since I didn't have any components or anything, I didn't have any mouse pads, and Ah, I just grabbed one that looked like it's going to be pretty good. We'll open it up. We'll see how it looks. I'll probably be using it for building the computer as well. Uh, again, just... It's solid black. No graphics. No logos. No nothing like that. At least that's what I ordered. We'll see if that's how it turned out. And uh, we'll go from there. 
Alright, and Windows 10. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, Windows, yeah. Uh, not known for their security and not known for their, well, reliability. Um, I've messed with Linux a couple of times, and to be honest, I'll probably end up going to that anyway. Uh, but again, getting back into it, do what's easy to stay in it, right? Uh, USB version, like I said, I bought the DVD drive when I thought I was buying the disk operating system and then changed it to the USB format and uh, <laughs> forgot to swap out the optical drive. Uh, hey, at least there's no, you know, floppy disk drives, so... No, no, those were, I mean, three and a quarter, not, well, three, three and a half, not five and a quarter floppy drives. In school, we had those, well, elementary. I know, dating myself, yada, 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 well, dating my age. Anyway, again, I go on tangent in case y'all haven't noticed yet. Uh, we'll go from here. Uh, probably must have speeded it out anyway. And I bought a surge protector because, you know, <laughs> don't want things going boom. Uh, living somewhere where wiring's a little iffy and all that and occasional power outages and stuff and all that. And it was always good to protect your stuff. Eventually I'll go for a, uh, a uh, eventually I'll go for a UPS. Uh, un uninterruptible power supply, not, you know, postal service. Uh, that'd be a little weird, though, wouldn't it? Uh, how do you run your computer? I run it off of a delivery truck. Uh, anyway, so, basic, uh, some reports I read that the, uh, Ethernet ports on it don't give you full speed. Uh, this will be one, those will be for mainly when it's finally set up along with the uh, coax cable for cable and all that. Yeah, I have cable internet and it's uh, not... I always preferred DSL back when it was the thing. But DSL is not as prevalent nowadays. So... And our phone suck around here now. So every time it rains we get crackly lines and all that. That and uh, where I live, we get free basic cable. And so because of that, get a discount on cable internet. Still pay way too much for way too little. And, uh, anyway, again, another tangent. But that'll be what's fall plugged into. Alright, now that I'm pretty sure that covers just about everything, I mean, there's some screws and bits and pieces and cleaning wipes and, and all that stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there is anti static wrist straps and included in every fan. But I don't see how that's possible with how they have that packaged, but we'll see. Uh, it was supposed to be included. Uh, and one thing I realized I don't have right with me is thermal paste. Hopefully that's in the motherboard box. 